Right, top trades. <coughs> You look at that bun trade, and I think that is a really top trade anyway. Um, something that I would definitely be looking at. Um, and yeah, very, very simple, very crisp trade. Um, nice risk reward, clear target on what you're looking for. Um, DAX, again, reasonably clear trade here. What we got is we got a gap up in the middle of the range. So you got a gap here. This is the most recent range, so we're really sitting in around about a. 190 tick range for the DAX, a little bit of a 100 tick range um, here from 12.401 to 12.490, so 90 tick range there. Um, <clears throat> so there you're almost two types of ranges. You've got this gap up, so it's not taking us above the range here. You've got to be thinking straight away, can this gap get filled? There's no reason for a gap up mid-range, and it's exactly what we got. Eventually, we got you know, an attempt lower, didn't manage to reach it. Push up to a new high, failed on that new high. This move up here did look like a few stops. We got one very sudden ping up, and that was it. Come back off, fill the gap. Couple of previous highs as well. Um, and then we just have a little bit of a drift straight the way back up into range. I'll just bring you a profile in just a moment. Right, and if I bring you a profile over to this screen, what you can see, this first dip down, um, down to 12s, the gap close was at 15s, so, you know, three ticks through, very clear target, just take it back to the middle of the range, this is the range so far for the day, just back to the middle of that range, you know, you've got a very balanced day. Um, that's all you're going to be looking for, and that's exactly what you got, so, nice little scalp area, the what made this an easier trade is the fact that you had already got a nice balance day there in the DAX. So immediately you're already thinking any kind of extension lower is probably going to be a nice buy. The fact that you've got it back down to a gap as well. Perfect positioning for a trade.